All right, I'm going to show you how the uh, ramp uh, attachment goes for the uh, LT15. Um, there's a bunch of these little hooks on the side, so ramps can go in and out. It's adjustable to the length of your log. So that's how those sit. Um, another thing you got to watch is whenever you move the saw head back and forth, sometimes they sit like that and you'll hit them, so make sure you have them pulled out and then you can keep them in place. And then over here, the winch pops up and it has a detachable handle. Okay, so here's how it works. This pretty much just lets the gears free. You have two spots, which are two different gear ratios. Um, so, you can hook this. With this in the middle spot, it allows it to go freely. Um, if you go this way, it either pulls in or you can do that and it pulls out. So what you do is you pull this out, you go over top of the log, come back underneath the sawmill, and there's a loop underneath here that you hook your hook on to. And then when you uh, roll it in, it actually rolls the log up the ramps. So now, it's a very slow process of pulling the log in. Um, I think this is the fast ratio. I lied. This is the fast ratio. I haven't used this in a while. It's been all winter. I've been using the, uh, the tractor. But the reason I'm using this today instead of the tractor is because when I pick this thing up, it actually lifts the rear end of my tractor up in the air. So, instead of trying to do that on uh, a bank, Pennsylvania bank barn, I figured it would probably be safer to just roll it up. Well, you're going to have to get off of there. That's how you manually roll a log up onto a uh, sawmill like this. Um, I started out with the saw head down here just because of gravity. I couldn't get my sawmill up the whole way. Um, the log was actually so big it was hitting the gas tank with the head extended up as high as it'll go. So I had to pull it up there, hook it up to the tongue so it wouldn't come back down just to get this thing rolled up. Um, 
You can probably see a little bit in there on the camera, but there is a good bit of bow. Um, I mean, I got maybe another inch here until it touches, but there's a bow in here, so I have to try to work around that. And there's also some knots in here that might have made this a little hollow. As you can probably tell there's a little bit of ant damage. Hopefully that does not go up very far. As you can probably tell, it's, it's another day. Um, I ended up having a horrible day uh, milling this. You can see all the ant damage. Uh, it was probably the most wasteful log I've ever milled. Um, almost every piece had some sort of damage in it. Um, I have three pieces sitting here. Each one of them have ant damage. That thing, that's 15 feet long, ant damage the entire way through it. I ended up getting a four by six by six foot off of that entire 26 inch diameter log. So, hoping for a better day. Um, back there, you can see there's another, my last locust uh, tree to mill up. I'm gonna cut the crotch off of it, cut the flared end off, and uh, roll it up onto the mill and see if maybe we have a better day today.
so I got all of the black locust logs milled up. Uh, I got all my posts and beams and material for braces. I should actually have a few extra. Um, I'm going to start assembling those in the next few videos. We'll see how, how that goes. It's probably going to be more of a not how to, but more of a this is what I'm doing. Uh, this is kind of what's working for me, or these are some of the things that are easier for me. I'm by no means a professional at this. I build houses out of two by fours and two by sixes for a living, not trees. So uh, I have the basic uh, carpentry skills, but not the timber framing yet. Um, so hopefully uh, you guys can enjoy watching me learn. And uh, if I screw something up, you can see what not to do. Um, so there's going to be three posts, uh, three beams, counting the uh, two-piece beam that's going to be the, in the front. It's going to be 21 feet, and uh, six braces. So there's going to be a decent amount of joinery for me to, to figure out. Um, i got to figure out some corners and stuff. But uh, I went to a wood miser class. Uh, we, we were taught how to do some some uh, sawing techniques, how to tear the sawmills apart, stuff like that. They demonstrated some of the ones up there. So the next video or two, I might try to slip some of those in and uh, share that with you guys. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to give me a like and subscribe and check out the Facebook channel.